What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, for those who were hoping Sasha Banks would return back to WWE, you may not want to get your hopes up. It looks like uh, she may not be returning, y'all, man. I've gotten uh, a couple messages on Instagram of people saying, yo, I may want to check this out, talk about this. So, that is what I'm here to do, man. We're going to get right into this article by ringsidenews.com. Uh, Sasha Banks WWE exit was negotiated months ago, man. Sasha Banks shocked the world when she walked out of the WWE uh, during an episode of Monday Night Raw. She, along with Naomi, handed over their tag team titles and walked away from the company. Ringside News exclusively reported in June that Banks and Naomi contracts were in the hands of attorneys. It seems that those contracts are up and fans are waiting on their next move. Sasha Banks wasn't uh, seen on WWE television and she wasn't even mentioned until recently. There have been reports that Sasha Banks would uh, make an appearance at the New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestle Kingdom, which put to rest the speculation that she might return to WWE soon. Fightful Select um, is now reporting that Sasha Banks' WWE exit was negotiated months ago, despite her still being listed on the company's website. It was also noted that Sasha Banks was free to take bookings uh, from January 1st. It was confirmed to Fightful uh, that Mercedes WWE exit was negotiated months ago, like when Raj Giri of Wrestling Inc. reported as much. However, WWE has yet to officially confirm this, and she remains listed on the company's official website. It was it was also reiterated to us that Sasha Banks was able to take wrestling-related bookings on January 1st, something that FIFA Select reported this past fall. When we asked if this was contractual, we were told that it was, and we were informed that Russell Cade uh, was far from the only wrestling-related operation to make attempts to book her with the the big event being another convention that those close to her claim was interested we've also heard that some uh, con uh conventions were tossed around uh tossed even tossed around the idea of rebranding themselves as entertainment conventions to get around the technically uh, technicality of being a pro wrestling convention in hopes of booking her before january 1st ultimately that did not happen per Fightful Select. This also, this almost certainly confirms that Sasha Banks is gone from WWE. Given that she was released, it will be interesting to see which promotion she signs for after January 1st. Stay tuned to Ringside News for more coverage of this story, man. And there you guys have it, man. Now, granted, I'm not sure, you know, how accurate this is, but I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this today and there's a good possibility she probably is gone, man. Uh, I know a lot of uh, of you guys have been hoping, oh, maybe she makes a return. She's going to return at this pay-per-view. She's going to return at this pay-per-view. Look, if it's not even in the cards, if Triple H is not able to even get her back, I don't know. I, I, I Then maybe she is kind of just over WWE. And, hey, that is her choice. She has the choice to walk away. Who's to say she don't come back? I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet maybe not now maybe she does need to take away uh take a step away from just wwe as a whole and come back later you know um, after she's done some things in new japan pro wrestling or anywhere else hell she may even do a little a little stint in aew who knows but i can see her maybe at some point coming back to wwe well in my opinion i think she could possibly end her career in wwe if things uh, continue to keep going the way they're going with Triple H um, controlling the show. But ultimately, hey, as long as she's happy, that's all that matters. I know some people are going to feel some type of way. You really shouldn't. I, I wish some of uh, us wrestling fans could just be happy for the person. You know what I'm saying? Be happy for the person that they're enjoying their life. They weren't having fun. Clearly, Sasha and Naomi weren't enjoying what they were doing. And now they they are enjoying what they are doing right now. And that's all that matters. You know, life is very short and fleeting. So what's the point of stressing yourself out and being in a situation and you have control to change your surroundings? Go ahead. So I'm I'm all in support for it. If he does she uh if it does 
be true and she does not come back i'm all in support but it does seem like she probably made her mind up a long time ago and uh she's moving forward with her life and her career so I, i'm it's it's i'm indifferent to her. i'm not one of those people oh how could sasha do that I, it, it is what it is man she she's her own person she has the right to not come back if that's what she chooses to do man so comment down below let me know do you guys believe this article do you guys believe that she's made her decision a long time ago and she's probably not coming back for this for the foreseeable future or at least right now maybe sometime in a few years from now maybe she come back or not you know you know maybe she makes a return let me know how y'all feel about it and would y'all uh, want her i guess you could say to join aew if that's a possibility would y'all want her to be in aew how do y'all feel about her being in new japan pro wrestling like let me know your thoughts and opinions on all this man it's been some crazy news this week for the wrestling world but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace